Update on that oil tank project. I don't know if you remember. Now at this stage, it was a uh, what was it last? Was it last year or something that I did something? So I finally moved the oil tanks. I'm in the process of reconnecting everything. I just finished moving the oil tank over to here. Uh, it's slightly higher here than it was there, and I have it uh, just propped on wood as well. So I think four blocks is uh, really uh, height all I need just to create that uh, gravity pressure good thing we can move the bins it's not a very glamorous video here uh, so I'm going to reconnect I've drilled a hole here I think I'm, I need to drill one higher because it actually slopes down and goes back up that's not good so I don't want any down slope at all it'll reduce pressure and make it harder on the pump um, on the gravity fed system does just fed by gravity so i'll drill another hole and initially i was going to bring everything way over there but you know what it actually leaves just enough room to navigate and move stuff um hide the bins out of the way uh we'll be able to just to have like maybe other stuff in there so i think i i'd rather limit the length uh we need of uh, of uh, piping and I might be able to reuse the old piping and I'll have to bend any of this, which would be great. Uh, maybe not. I'll see. But um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to reconnect now. This was empty for a while because it's summer, although it was uh, cold this morning. So uh, I'm going to order some little bit of oil as well at some point. But anyway, I need to finish this. Move everything clean here. But you can see already how much space. Hello, dude. Hello, dude. Hello, dude. How much space this is creating and it just actually yeah it just it's oh my it's much cleaner you can actually enjoy the view not have it disturbed by that just ugly 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 oil tank and uh, there's been cases of people stealing oil as well so once i have that roof it'll be uh, out of the way just hidden uh, so that eliminate that worry as well but wow what a difference this makes Okay, let's keep working. Where are you going, dude? Oh yeah, before actually I show you, uh, I might have shown it in another video. So I've been, uh, I've been making a platform for Fiona's car here, and uh, I'm continuing uh, to make it in here. So I'll probably just do this entire section up to the uh, the van over there. Uh, my hidden plan is to uh, to have a skate ramp. A removable skate ramp I can store in this shed over there so that's gonna be the plan uh, so I need to finish this as well uh, I'll probably make that part of this video um, because the oil tank uh, isn't very interesting so we'll see things are stopped for a minute this is Maine Ireland Bit of a progress on this uh, section. It's probably been a few weeks now, so I started uh, just raising up. Actually, let's go over here. Started raising up the. Uh, well, I moved everything uh, first, and uh, the bins are out for uh, uh, picking up uh, tomorrow. So we left them out, but they're they're going here, and I'm starting to just uh, lay some blocks. Uh, so I will have it up to like this one so five five blocks up and here I'm evening out this whole uh, section so it's level and uh, because as you can see it has I don't know sustained some damage over the years <laughs> it, it was crumbling so I'm just uh, sort of rebuilding it just making it level really so I can actually just lay some blocks on it so I'll lay one block I just have a slanted roof coming over that I think five is going to be enough for some clearance on the top for the uh, whoever is going to refill the oil tank uh, to have access to that part so I think that should be enough because there's going to be uh, another piece of wood on top and then um, uh, those are the kind of rafters so I, th I think it should be enough I'll double check if not we can put an extra layer or maybe just maybe just uh, uh, extra piece of wood or something like that for the uh, for the roof uh, but I think that should be enough so I should have enough I still have uh, 
about 30 blocks there somewhere uh, 30 odd blocks so I think I should be okay with this and I might be missing one or two uh, for here. Uh, there's also the side I'll have to think about what I'm going to do for, for the side. I was thinking actually of uh, putting, I, I do have leftover glass panels and things like that. So maybe just having a gla panel glass, glass panel here. And I'm not sure over there. Um, there's not a lot I can do here other than just uh, making sure that section is uh, is flush but i mean it's going to be open anyway so I, i'll see there's not a lot i need to do here but here i just need to think about what i'm going to do or maybe just lift blocks and just have it completely uh completely closed i don't want to have it open like that's what i mean like yeah so either a, a panel or some wood paneling could be cool as well or just blocks but um i see inside what's funny is uh uh, because that tank is so high and actually I have it on one block less because it doesn't actually need all that height because there's a pump now but um, it, it's quite high I mean my head comes to here and we still have uh, a few blocks you know so yeah, it's going to be a, a, a high ceiling area but um, that's that's what it needs but it's really handy uh, really it's going to be dry as well which uh, will be great as well because right now it's open it just gets a, a lot of uh, rain and it frees that whole area so yeah some slow progress i'm not doing anything today i did some work yesterday oh yeah the other thing is um i can only really have like two layers of blocks in at a time um because well, it's quite tiring and just the way it's it's laid out and uh, so i'm doing this and leftover cement i'm using for the path over there so it's not looking absolutely perfect, but it's at least it's it's, it's somewhat straight and uh, it it'll do. There won't be a lot of uh, weight on that wall anyway, so it'll do as it is. Anyway, that's the progress. Uh, I think next is just finish that, put a layer here, and then we can worry about just getting the the, the wood, uh, at least for the frame for the from for the roof. Um, not in place, not fixed, but just have an idea of uh, what it's going to look like and I can think about what I want to do in this corner here, in this area, but it's going to be slanted coming this way. Anyway, I was looking for angles to film all this, but it's kind of hard because it's such a confined space. So yeah, progress. Uh, I have this wall here. I have just one line of blocks here. Let me uh, get some and uh, getting there slowly. So, I'm uh, short on wood, I need one of those here, and then I'll have the uh, sheets of uh, corrugated metal just uh, coming over that. And it's just about enough clearance uh, for uh, filling the tank there, so it'll be uh, be fine. Uh, it's uh, Didn't want to have it too high, and sorry about the wind here, uh, not much I can do about that especially on the phone but yeah we're, we're getting there as you can see like this is not level here so I'm actually using uh, wood uh, what I'm doing afterwards is I'll actually run some concrete uh, just underneath uh, just to sort of level but it's actually fine as it is it's it's resting on these uh, pieces of wood that I've uh, inserted it's not a ton of weight on this so it doesn't really matter too much it's more for my uh, I don't know my own mind um, there's nothing square again in this house. It's always hard to get things level. And uh, obviously I didn't do a good job here when I started this, because uh, I started over there. And, uh, but yeah, it'll be fine. Well, I uh, skipped a few steps here, but as usual, this is never a tutorial. It's more of a vlog of progress vlog kind of thing. So uh, I have, well, it's not finished, but at least it's it's, it's fully roofed now. Um, and uh, I used wood inside uh, for the uh, both sides instead of uh, making it in stone, uh, just because. So still a few jobs. I need to uh, have uh, just uh, a piece of wood just to address this area and uh, prevent all that. Obviously, all that gap here. Uh, I need to trim this to size. Put a gutter. Uh, we're gonna need obviously corner uh, pieces 
like these guys over there uh, on both sides and on the back against the wall as well um, the front uh, I'm gonna have just to kind of tidy this uh, area here I'm not sure what I'll do here maybe an extra piece of wood or or I'll just do a kind of a, a case here and I'll just fill this with a uh, concrete uh, just to provide some uh, extra strength just to hide all, hide all that a little bit of a uh, front plastering obviously repainting but inside well inside it's nice and dry now we have our I mean, what a sexy shot bins <laughs> I can put uh, all my ladders and wheelbarrow and the uh, cement mixer here uh, we'll probably put our bikes <laughs> will the bikes even fit now at this stage probably not but at least all that is a uh, safe and secure oh yeah and i had the leftover pieces of a uh, plexiglass so i just uh, made little windows just to provide some light because there's not a ton of light in here and uh, you, you need light coming from both sides uh, especially later in the evening but uh i i don't plan on putting any sort of lighting in here um although once once i cover all this oh yeah and an insulation foam everywhere just to prevent too many uh, drafts it's more actually to prevent wind from coming in uh through the 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 these sides and uh, lifting the roof in, in really really uh bad storms but other than that yeah so i'll keep going i'm not sure i'm not sure what the uh go to this video is i might just leave it there because everything there is going to be just finishing and cosmetics and i mean the uh the functional part of it is uh, is all there, and uh, that's really what I was uh, what I was aiming for. Just having something functional first that I, I could put uh, stuff in that will be dry. I have to excuse the wind uh, probably coming up through the mic, but uh, I couldn't just leave it the video like that um, until I had this done. So I put a, a fascia here that I'll paint black, and uh, I put the corners and. Uh, on the sides and top uh, in just to make sure that it's uh, tidy I need a, uh, just a piece of wood to cover here and uh, there you go I painted inside white as well it just creates uh, a lot more light it was quite dark and uh, sort of gloomy and uh, because I don't plan you know the wall was like that, I don't plan on putting any light here it's uh, it's kind of useful to have any sort of light being reflected so my insulated the uh, insulating slowly with with bits of foam and poly ex, expanding poly uh, polyurethane foam, um, and it's not so much to keep the place warm; it's more to prevent wind from coming in and uh, and sort of push, trying to push the the roof uh, up as we we get quite a lot of strong winds here. And this is, uh, I mean, this is okay. It's not exposed, so north would be over there. Uh, southwest are the uh, most dominant winds and uh, usually west southwest and uh, so we'll uh, with the house here yeah, that would protect us from those uh, strong stormy winds but you never know uh, because this is quite open here I don't plan on having a door so um, it's solid it's just to uh, I had a couple of cans of foam so it's just to uh, to prevent uh, stuff from coming in there's um I have to put a cover on the back as well uh, I'll do that next, but that's it. I mean, I was uh, I was happy to finish the video earlier where it was, um, but it kind of looks better with a with a bit of a cover and dressing around it. So that's it, folks. This time it is goodbye.